Hello everyone, this is Lunar and welcome to more Fire Emblem Heroes, the series that is not a series, better make a series out of it and welcome everybody who's watching this to Robin the Delivery Boy. Today I have a brand new, exciting, Grand Hero Battle for us to face against Cynthia, the Hero Chaser, and I'm not gonna do a reference to Jojo opening 5 or Jojo part 4, the opening number 2 of that, whatever, I'm not gonna do a reference to that. Well, I already did, and I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, so let's go over to the special maps and let me present the team. First and foremost, I have the high delivery Robin. As you can see, he now is a plus speed. So he loses a little bit of attack, but I managed to solve it uh, somehow. <laughs> and he has a statical bolt, reposition, growing wind, blazing attack, speed 3, vintage 3, odd speed wave 3, and speed smoke 3. And the, the, the nicest thing I like about this uh, merging things is that I did not lose any of my of my dragonflies. Uh, I kept my support for him, for him and he still was S ranked when I when I did it, so it was pretty nice. It was a, a very easy transition to to level 40 plus 2 at the time when I did it. So Good, because I will need you very, very soon, and you're going to love it. Anyway, I like this line. I actually like that, that this line came to the to the, to the actual uh, video. Anyway, at one point. <laughs> uh, let's see here, the Prince of Leon series. A face that you don't see here very often, Leaf is with us, like Bran. Reposition, Blazing Light, Steady Blow 2, Ash Ring. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and Double um, Drive Attack 2. Sorry. I said ass drink. Probably you're gonna get uh, demoted on YouTube because you know there's a clear ass over there, and I said the word ass every single of, of those times. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's go over here. Is that some kind of greeting where you come from? Indeed, a tap on the back and a kick on the leg. That that's the greeting here. No, no, no just kidding. <laughs> just a tap in the back. It's fine. Um, a you know tap with the hands. And a little punch. It also works. <laughs> anyway, um, but uh, no, a uh, fist bump. That's what I meant. Anyway, now, um, so uh, we with that we go on to Chunder, a face that we don't see here. A very very long time we don't see this face around here. That's the Paragon Knight Chunder with Ziggurat Reposition, Blazing Light, Fury Three, Quick Response Two, Attack Tactic Three, and Drive Speed Two. Uh, don't compare me to Kari. You're going to do me a favor if you don't do that. Thank you, Chandler. Uh, anyway, I like more Robin. If you compare me to Robin 10, you're pretty good on that. Pretty good. Uh, anyway, uh, with that, we'll go on to another face that doesn't see me here very often. The Blue Crow Wurzelus with us. With King Blood Wolf Plus, Reforge, uh, Pivot uh, Iceberg, Death Blow 3, Lancer Breaker 3, Spur Attack 2, and Spur Speed 2. Tell me. Uh, go. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna step back. Step back. You can keep your perfection. You can keep your perfection. Not gonna, not gonna suggest anything. No, no, I'll just be quiet on mine. Let's go over to the battlefield before you kill me. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go over to an Inferno Cynthia Hero Chaser. Uh, on Inferno difficulty, as I said, here on Fire Emblem Heroes. Something very exciting happened, guys. I don't know why I'm so excited, but something excited happened. That's why I probably am excited. <laughs> uh, you all will answer to me. Lie down your arms and surrender, or face my judgment. Or face judgment and my spear. Wow, the face and the line doesn't doesn't fit each other. Sorry, Cynthia. It doesn't, it doesn't really feed, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I know about Judgment Arrows, but I don't know about Judgment Spears. Okay. So anyway, let's move on. And let's go over here. And let me talk about the exciting thing that happened. Benjo and Kazooie are at Super Smash Brothers. Ah, I was so happy. I am so happy. And, well... I'm back to being five again. Was it? Uh, 
I almost cried. I know. I not joke to you. I almost cried when when they revealed that. And I don't usually cry. I'm I'm the guy that don't usually cry, and I was very emotional about that. <laughs> and because of that, uh, I decided to tell the, to tell the story as how I met Benjo and Kazooie. So Benjo and Kazooie, it's a game. It was the third, the very third game that I ever owned in my life. I yet had at a department store uh, here in Brazil, and I was like five. I was eyeballing the thing the whole time, and you know, at, at five years old, your your teeth are starting to, to change. So yeah, everybody knows that, but but your teeth are starting to change. So because of that, I was like uh, not mo I was even hot on the idea of taking my teeth off. And my mom was insisting on giving, uh, on taking my teeth off, <laughs> and because of, she saw me, uh, and that's her lawyer part of the deal, <laughs> of, of of being my mother. That's the lawyer part of her, um, because she's a lawyer, and she was saying, you know, I'll make a deal with you. If you let me uh, take your teeth off, you know, take the teeth that are, that were a little bit soft, and you know. You, so they can, could grow into the adult teeth. Uh, I will buy this game to you. I said, let's go for it. <laughs> let's do it. No, nothing like that. But I accepted. Uh, like, a, a, like a good young man, I accepted. <laughs> and I got a game. Get home. Pop it in my N64. It was... Amazing. Because, you know, I have three games at a time. I have uh, Super Mario 64. Um, this, is, this is even before I was a, a Zelda fan. That's how old it is. Uh, I got my N64 um, with my Super Mario 64, uh, my Mischief Makers, and now Banjo Kazooie. It was like, wow. I did not understand English, so uh, it took me very long to go through the game. And sometimes I don't even play the game because my mom uh, actually uh, takes uh, took it away from me for, for uh, throughout the school year and, and stuff like that. I could play uh, throughout summer uh, when, when it was you know off school uh, as it is. And so because of that, uh, I took very long to go through the game. So when I was around like seven or eight. I, I could not understand English, so I couldn't understand where I should go, or what should I do. And I was I was a very dumb kid, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I met sharks at, at, at Treasure Trove Cove. I was scared shitless out of that. I'm not gonna even try to, to PG that. I was scared, um, I couldn't do some missions, and so when I end up, went off uh, Treasure Trove Cove, I went to, Camp, uh, to Clunker's 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 Carvin, and that didn't help either, because he's a pretty big ass shark, and I wasn't scared of that, and so I didn't play the game for like five years, and so when it was like, no, not five years, three years, and so when I was eleven, I bought that again. I would say, you know what? I knew how to beat the shark. I would throw an axe at its face. It worked. <laughs> I would throw an axe at its face. And he will die, and I'll do everything that I have to do until I thresh the Rokova. And so I beat my fear of that, as well as I beat my fear of Plunker, because I thought he would actually eat me, because I did not understand English, and did not understand that he was asking for my help to free him from the freaking sewer that he was on. So you get, get, get me there. I, I did not understand English. He was speaking English to me, even though he was reading in English. I couldn't even... I couldn't even read my own language at the time. I was five. I, I got uh, I got to read my language at, at age at like seven, no, like six or seven. At, with, it was nine ninety seven. So I was, I was like on, on kindergarten one. So yeah, kindergarten one ten. No 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 no. I was at kindergarten kindergarten two. So, yeah, you can understand that that's why I could not read. I was starting to learn the, the letters uh, at kindergarten, kindergarten 3, and I was fully alphabetized uh, the next 
uh, you know, something in between the 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 kindergarten and the elementary school that we have that we had at the time in Brazil. So that's pretty much my story with Benjo Kazuya. So when they revealed that the Benjo, uh, uh, Donkey Kong and King K. Rowe and Diddy, very excited that he was back. I was like, man, man, don't play with my heart. Uh, and also uh, King K. Rowe dying as a grown tilde was like, take my money, grab it, I don't care. <laughs> Not even joking, let me tease excited. I was excited about Banjo and Kazooie more than I was about Joker. Like, ugh, I want to play him so bad right now. I can't wait for Falls and play with him at, at Super Smash Brothers. He probably will become one of my mains. Yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. You can claim Cynthia now for stars. I was, I went down on Ren and can get 2,000 feathers for that. So thanks everyone for watching and catch you guys then. <laughs> bye bye. I can't wait for falls.